today's video, I'm going to share with you some tips to help you find items in the Cezanne archives. If you don't know what the archives are, they are, a, I would say, kind of sale that Cezanne has twice a year in the summer and in the winter, and they normally discount previous collections. So you can find pieces from, for example, the winter 2021, 2020, and sometimes even older collections at a nice, you know, nicely discounted price. Sometimes it can be just 10%, 25% or 50%. And it's a really nice way to get these pieces discounted because it never does sales. Sometimes they do have some vouchers here and there or they slip some gifts into their boxes, but at least I have not seen yet any discount sale. So it's a nice way to score those, those items for a nice price. I don't know how your experience was, but the archives, of, if you have ever tried buying from the archives, but it can be really frustrating and really difficult to actually find items because they sell out so fast. So this is why I made this video because I got so many reports of um, people who actually scored a lot of items and others who just got nothing. So I'm very sorry if you are one of these people. I know it can be really frustrating even though they're just clothes and they're accessories, but depending on the time that you actually logged into the app, it could be really in the middle of the night as it was for me. So the first thing that I can say before I start sharing the tips is, is it worth it? Like, do you want to waste let's say those few hours of um, of your sleep to actually not even be sure like if you're gonna get anything but I would say that to me it was worth it I didn't really have to wake up too early on the next day and honestly I do not have this problem if you if I can sleep during the night I know that the next night I will be able to sleep so I know it can be tiring you sometimes just waste all your energy and the day gets really tough especially if you have to work or if you have kids I cannot imagine how difficult that would be so it's really a matter of telling yourself or asking yourself if it's worth it or not obviously this is going to be a, a different experience for each of us so this is the first thing i want to say but then let's start with the tips the tip number one is have a wish list if you know which pieces will be in the archives you have a much better chance of scoring one of them this year was the second item i was able to score and i knew it would be on the archives and i got this one at 3 19 a.m while i got my first item at 3 17 a.m so the first thing that i can say is have a wish list how can you access those items you can look into their lookbooks from previous years from 2021 2020 and before and this way you can see which pieces will be there not all of them will sometimes they just sold out before and they are not going to be in the archives sometimes they will be in the next act because Cezanne doesn't do only one uh, archives they do they just had now the act one and they're going to have act two very soon so that's why I'm sharing this video because I really want to make sure that you guys have the best strategy to score something that you like so you can look into their lookbooks through Pinterest they have a they have lots of files there I'm gonna try to link below so you guys can see and they also have in the Facebook group that says an edits, you can find some of the lookbooks from previous years. So this is my tip number one. My tip number two is get there earlier. So they say 9.30 a.m. Paris time. I logged into the app about half an hour before. Half an hour before there was basically nothing, nothing going on. And the first moment that I was able to score something, it was at 3.17, so 9.17 for them it was 13 minutes than what was planned. So it's not a long time, but it was time enough to actually get uh, my first few items, which were the Akil jumper, the Leo coach, and the Aston coach. And these, at least those two, the Akil and the Aston coach, they were uh, on my wish list. Like they were really the, the only two items that I really wanted to get. Everything else, I won't say it was luck because I was really diligent and I was like, I'll tell you guys in a minute, but I really did my best to be able to get a few more items. So that that is my second tip. 
but just make sure you get there earlier because when they say 9 30 usually when you get there at 9 30 there's a lot of items that are already gone so being there a little bit earlier will help you have a better luck my tip number three is a very important one only put in your card what you really want if you're not sure or if you don't know your size and if you're going to take that out of your cart later it's going to be gone so don't do it don't put multiple multiple sizes to the site later because first there's no later in like two minutes that could be gone maybe two seconds maybe so you really have to know your size or just you know guess or just try unless you want to try two sizes then you put your sizes in your basket but one thing you cannot do is take items out of your basket because when you do this during the archives everything is gone and i'm telling you that because it has happened to me i had all those bad experiences that i'm mentioning here and that's why i want to share with you to help you get the best strategies to to score those items so in my first archives i didn't know and then that's what happened i put two sizes or maybe i decided to change like i changed my mind later or just it was over 800 dollars and i didn't want to pay customs uh, duties and then i ended up taking something out of my cart and then everything else was gone and i could never find those items again so only put in your cart things that you are a hundred percent sure that you were going to check out if you're not sure maybe just check out and return later but make sure you do if you have anything else that you like in your in your basket tip number four which is another really important one make sure that you check out fast so you know that usually when you put items in your cart you have 30 minutes to check out because if you pass this it's going to be gone they only hold that those items in your cart for 30 minutes i believe in the archives is a lot faster because i have tried before and in like less than 10 minutes everything was gone so instead of you know putting two three items and then browsing for more just get two items check out maybe get three items check out don't go more, much more than that because the longest you wait the longest if those items stay in your car the most difficult it is for you to actually be able to finish your purchase so only put things in your car that you really want and make sure that you check out as fast as possible one item check out two items check out and then you go back and you get other ones tip number five is if you find something in another basket which is something that is really frustrating um, don't give up you can see that item you put on your wish list which means just put the heart like click on the heart this will go on your wish list and it's going to be on the top of your wish list and you go back browsing on other things because by the time that you find something else it's possible that that item that was in another basket is actually available you could be simply refreshing the app and waiting for this to become available because in another basket i honestly i'm not 100 percent sure but i have a feeling that it means that this item is in someone else's basket and that person has not checked out yet so there are a few well i've i have been able to get items that were in another basket i'm not sure why maybe they didn't check out or maybe they lost their item because the, the app is like this or maybe they purchased but then they changed their mind after and then they canceled the purchase and because of that it became available again so i can see a few different uh, different options for that but i can't really say for sure what i know is even items that are in another basket they are possible to be to be scored i was able to get a few things like this it was really tiring i have to say because i had to I had to refresh the app so many times but i was able to do this way so i went and i browsed browsed to other through other things that were available and i put in my card and then i went back to the these items that i had recently put in my wish list by by just clicking on the heart and then i got them so some of them were able to, i was able to do this and some of them i was not and that's okay they're just clothes they're just accessories you can get them, them later the tip number six is check on restocks because they are going to be back um very very often i see items being restocked from returns so not everyone keep their purchases obviously i'm sure you guys have returned something before 
and Cezanne is really great about returns. You, you can actually return all the pieces from the archives, unless it's something that's personalized, but I don't think they have anything personalized in the archives, so it's a good thing you are able to, to return if you need. If you were not able to get something that you really wanted, just make sure that you check again on Sunday, on Wednesday, and on Fridays, because I noticed they are doing some restocks on Friday as well. And the number seven is not quite a tip, but it's something that I think should be talked about, which is our mindset about this. You can definitely get those pieces for a cheaper price, and that's so cool, and I think we all deserve that, especially us Cezanne lovers. However, they're just clothes at the end of the day. They're just accessories and shoes, and you can find them in the pre-loved market sometimes so easily. So I often shop on Poshmark, eBay. I know that Vintage on the, in Europe is, I think, probably the best one, last pot platform for pre-loved. And there's the Vestiaire Collective. So there's so many ways to get those items instead of being stressed about them or things that are similar because honestly Suzanne does release beautiful new things but if you pay attention some of those pieces they're very similar to others from different collections and just with a little twist like a little detail so it's always possible to find them like let's not go crazy and try to buy everything I think it's important that obviously you get things that you really love and there's nothing wrong about buying a lot if you really want those pieces and if you're going to recycle your wardrobe or maybe donate or maybe sell older clothes and then keep the new ones. I mean, it's your life, you can do whatever you want. Uh, what I'm saying is I've seen a lot of people who got really mad, really upset and I get it, I get it because especially if you wake up in the middle of the night, you don't want to do that for nothing. It's, it's not rewarding, like it's it's almost like you're wasting your time and that's not cool. So I totally get it. But at the end of the day, again, those are just accessories and shoes and, and clothes. So again, you can get them another time. If, you, if the archives are not for you, that's totally cool too. I feel like not everyone is willing to do that and that's okay. So if you have the time and if you don't have to wake up too early or if you are okay with being tired the next day, then I think these tips will be for you. So I hope you liked, you liked this video. If you did, share with your friends. Don't forget to give the thumbs up. It really helps my channel a lot. And let me know what you think about the archives. If you got something, I'm going to be sharing very soon the items that I got. One of them is the Akil sweater, which I'm so excited about. So yeah, that's it for today. If you have any more tips about the archives, I would love to hear. Just comment below and let me know how your experience has been. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!